regarding the uh, mission of Chewy, um, it's quite an interesting mission statement. Maybe you can share that. Sure. Um, has the mission statement changed at all since the company was founded, or is that the same mission statement uh, that's been there the last decade? Yeah, no, it, it, has, it has changed. Uh, had you come to Chewy four or five years ago, you would have read a mission statement, we are working to become the largest pet retailer in the world. And that's great. That sign you know, it, it demonstrates a, a level of ambition uh, that, that, that clearly you know, represents kind of the founding mentality there. But if you, if you just observe the mission statement, we're working to become the largest pet retailer in the world, it's an output statement. It doesn't consider the inputs. It doesn't consider uh, customers. And Chewy is fundamentally customer-centric. Customer orientation is embedded inside our DNA. And so we took a look at the mission statement, and I said, well, for such a customer-centric company, I think we should have a, a, a mission purpose statement that orients ourselves accordingly. So we changed it to our mission statement today, which is to be the most trusted, convenient destination for pet parents and partners everywhere. I'll repeat that. Chewy wants to be the most trusted, convenient destination for pet parents and partners everywhere. It's really three things that I want you to focus on in this mission statement. Trusted and convenient, because as we've been talking about, you know, engendering customer trust, uh, trust and, keeping, and, and engendering loyalty and keeping that trust is the backbone of what drives us to acquire more customers and sell more products. Number two, you know, destination for pet parents and partners. There was no real credible platform, there still isn't in my opinion, that actually understands that a pet has more needs than just food and supplies. There's healthcare needs, there are non-healthcare services. So in, in, a, in a pet's life cycle, to be able to create a destination where pet parents can actually devote their mind share in their busy lives to be able to interact with the platform that brings everything together is a compelling concept. And then for partners, why? Because just as it takes a village to raise a child, it takes a village to raise a pet. I mean, if you have a pet, you know this. You need the, the, the shelter, the rescue, the, the breeders, the dog park friend, the veterinarian, the breeder, the groomer. I mean, you name it. There's a whole community that services pet. And we said to ourselves, you know, in addition to standing up for the end customer, we will have something to say about the community that services pet. And so that's why the word partners is in there. Mm -hmm. And the last word is everywhere. Because we believe, A, pet parents are more the same than different anywhere. Two, we believe Chewy's value proposition and the brand is extensible outside North America or, un or the United States. And so in that way, it represents our ambition to scale Chewy globally and to be present outside the US. Mm -hmm. uh, what I want you to take away here is that a mission purpose needs to be simple. It needs to be clear. And it needs to have strategic proposition embedded so that when you show it to your teams, they can find themselves in that mission statement. And so we often tell our teams that if you're working on something that doesn't actually resonate or doesn't ladder up to one of the elements of the mission statement, raise your hand because you're working on the wrong stuff. And so that's how we kind of close the loop internally with team members.